Hi, I'm Elena with Youth Collective. Let's talk about misinformation. Misinformation is like a virus. Once it starts, it's everywhere. Fake news, whether on social media, TV, or online, is actually 70% more likely to be shared than true stories, and it can spread six times as fast. Before you know it, it spread faster than a Doja Cat dance trend. And just like a virus, when fake news spreads, it impacts all of us. Misinformation is incorrect or misleading information that's presented as fact, whether it's intentional or not. There's also disinformation. That's when misinformation is deliberately spread to deceive or mislead. All of it has the potential to cause a lot of harm to people when it comes to understanding current events, public health, or even gossip at school. Think about COVID-19. A 2021 Kaiser Family Foundation report found 38% of Americans believe the government is exaggerating the number of COVID-19 deaths. And 18% believe deaths from the vaccine are being intentionally hidden by the government. Neither of these statements is true, but those who hear them and believe them and pass them on put themselves and others at risk. Misinformation also threatens democracy. Democracies depend on people understanding the information landscape and making sense of the media messages around us. So if people can't easily distinguish fact from fiction, we don't know what causes to support, who to vote for, or how to address problems in society that need to be fixed. It's impossible to have a functioning democracy if people are operating in multiple realities, even if it looked cool in Spider-Verse. The complexity of all these situations makes misinformation an ethical issue because there's no one easy solution or approach as we think about the rights and wrongs of how to handle it. So what does that mean for you? What are our ethical obligations when it comes to misinformation? Do we have an obligation to stay informed? It might be really tempting to disengage and solely watch TikToks of cute baby kittens. I know it can feel overwhelming, but if you believe in having a healthy democracy, then you probably do believe we have a civic duty to stay informed with reliable information. So how can we make sure we're getting reliable information? Media literacy can give us the tools to understand what misinformation is and why it happens, how to identify it, how to find credible sources, and how to fact check before we share something. Think about how and where you consume information. Knowing who published the information and for what purpose can help us look more critically at our sources. If you read about current events on your social media feed, you might not know exactly where the information came from. Following reputable sources, seeking varied sources, and a little bit of critical thinking can go a long way towards making our hours-long Twitter scrolls productive. Well, at least a little more productive. What should we think about before we share information? We've all shared a post without checking the facts before. I mean, how could we not immediately post the latest Bachelorette gossip? <gasps> Some say it's safe to share info from a source you think is trustworthy without extra work, but others argue we have a responsibility to fact check everything. Even the most reputable sources have to publish corrections sometimes, so consider taking a moment to vet your info first. Beyond just fact checking, there's also the potential impact of sharing misinformation. So before pressing share, think about why you're sharing it and the effect it might have if it turns out to be untrue. Finally, are we obligated to do something when others spread misinformation? If you believe we have a civic duty to stay informed, that means doing what we can to make sure all of us stay informed. If someone shares misinformation, is it better to let it go or is it important to talk to them about it? If you decide it makes sense to talk, check out our tips in our video, Misinformation Conversations. Say that five times fast. By considering these big ethical questions, we can empower ourselves to take action and help stop the spread.